Okay, um, as you can see, since the last video, um, I have gone ahead and painted the rocket a solid color, and I chose yellow. Um, my fillets are looking awesome. I'm really happy the way they turned out. Um, I did put two coats of primer on and sanded between the coats so that you can understand, you know, how I did it. And uh, these fillets are looking really nice. Now my paint scheme, let me bring up an image out of Rock Sim for you, a three-dimensional image so you can see what I chose. And you can see it's, it's a yellow and red paint scheme. It's pretty simple. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, pretty much leave the bottom as it is for right now. Um, on the top part of the rocket, um, I've gone ahead and put in one of the um, removable rivets and I put in my shear pins because I want to make sure all my holes line up um, so that nothing can shift around on me because my paint pattern that I'm going to use is also going to be my witness marks. Um, that top um, swoopy thing, um, I went ahead and printed out an image. It's pretty simple. It looks kind of like a nose cone. And after cutting it out, what I've, so I've cut it out and I've sprayed the back with a little bit, just a touch of spray adhesive so it has a little bit of tack to it. Um, and so this is going to wrap around the rocket and and this is going to go down the center line. So my first thing is I need to draw a center line. And I'm going to pick my center line um, opposite. I want, the, I want this part to remain yellow. And then the other part is going to be red. Um, so my center line becomes this fin right here becomes the, the opposite, right the middle between these two fins. So I'm going to eyeball it. And I'm using a pencil now, as you can see, because I don't want to have any marks that I have to remove later. Um, and you can see I've taken my aluminum angle and I've put tape on the edges so that when I draw lines, I'm not leaving any marks because, you know, aluminum can kind of give you marks on it. And I'm going to draw a straight line down the middle. And unfortunately, this aluminum angle is too wide. So I've got to pause here and get a smaller one. <laughs> smaller angle. Uh, that allows me to get right in the middle of this. And I'm just going to, I'm not even going to draw a line. Um, I just need to find the, the front here. Let me move this over so you can see it. So I have my mark there. Now it's going to get kind of hard because i got to put the rocket together. And then i got to figure out where on this side I want my, uh, my, my yellow stripe. And it doesn't really matter too much. I'm just trying to find which is the best side. So they all look pretty good. So it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, let me get this out of the way. All right. So I'm just going to line up one of these lines right here as my center line. And I'm going to continue extending that line up. It wants to be right. Oh, that's perfect. Didn't show. This one screw right here is in the way, so I'm going to pull it out.
Okay, so now I'm going right through the middle. Okay. Now I'm going to take this pattern. I'm just going to lay it down on my rocket. Double check that it's aligned. Just wrap it around like that. And then I'm going to take just my pencil and I'm going to go around that edge. view for you here. Okay. And then I'm going to extend these lines down along the tube. Okay, now um, I've got some automotive tape here and I got quarter inch wide and some one eighth inch wide. I'm going to use the one eighth when I go around the, uh, the curvature on the front and I'm going to use the wider stuff for the line along the side. Um, so I'm going to start with the line. Now anything on this side of the line is going to stay yellow. This is the hard part. Alright. Now where the tape overlaps, you gotta be really careful. sure that you really burnish it down there so that so that no paint can get underneath see what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm kind of pulling this way as I'm pressing down so that I'm following my curvature The tip is the going to be the hard part because I got to make it go all the way around.
success. Okay. Now I can fill in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in a little bit wider. And then I've taken a garbage bag and I've cut it into a strip. And I'm going to use that to mask off the big areas so I don't have to use so much tape. Um, I like to use plastic whenever possible because paint won't go through it. So I'm going to go ahead and start masking this off and then as soon as that's done we'll come back. Make sure you press it down. All right. So now I'm going to go back out and paint this outside. And then uh, the next time you see it, it should be red and yellow.